Good evening, everyone. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kristen Kelly. The University of Vermont temporarily suspended a fraternity after a questionable questionnaire. UVM officials called the social survey highly offensive because of the question about rape. Police were notified the school is investigating. Now women's groups are pushing for that frat to be permanently banned. Kyle Madura joins us now with the story. Kyle. Darren and Kristen, Sigma Phi Epsilon was already on social probation for drinking violations. Now both the school and national fraternity have told the brothers they must cease all operations. The Sigma Phi Epsilon survey starts with the typical questions. Name, major, favorite memories. But the final question drew the eye of the UVM administration. It reads, if I could rape someone, who would it be? So that causes great concern to us about what's the purpose of that kind of question. Annie Stevens oversees student and campus life at UVM. That includes Greek life, an option that suits about 8% of students on campus. She says the school decided to temporarily suspend the fraternity, which is already on probation for alcohol violations. Nothing social, nothing formal as a chapter. They can still live in the house, but no chapter activities can take place. Student blogs claim a new member accidentally emailed the survey to his teaching assistant, rather than his assignment and allege at least one fraternity brother has been accused of rape. Those are the kinds of questions that we're still actively pursuing. The National Fraternity released a statement that reads in part, quote, any behavior that demeans women is not tolerated by the fraternity, end quote. Those at the House told us they've been instructed not to speak to media at this point. Students on campus say they're appalled. I am greatly offended by what they said. Um, someone very close to me was actually raped, and so it hits really close to home. I think the suspension is fairly just. I mean, there's the First Amendment and all, but uh, I think that's definitely going outside the lines. I think it should be just as bad as hazing. It's just as harmful. There are a lot of people who have experienced sexual violence on campus and elsewhere, and it's just really disrespectful. Police were notified about the survey, and the National Fraternity and School are investigating the matter. That could spell the end of the UVM SIGAP chapter. In fact, women's groups on campus have already begun circulating a petition to get rid of the Brotherhood. It's up to more than 750 signatures. Darren? All right, Kyle Medora, thank you very much. What starts as a routine questionnaire ends with a shocking inquiry. If I could rape someone, who would it be? The question was posed by someone from the Sigma Phi Epsilon fraternity at University of Vermont. The administration took swift action. We've immediately uh, put the chapter on interim suspension, which ceases all of their activities as a chapter. To whom the survey was sent or how it was used is still unknown. The 45-member house is under investigation, and not just by UVM. We immediately began some fact-finding with the chapter leadership about what they knew about it, um, notified the national headquarters as well as police services. The Sigma Phi Epsilon National Fraternity mirrored UVM's actions. In a statement, the UVM chapter was told to cease all operations. The letter goes on to say, any behavior that demeans women is not tolerated. But that's not enough for some students. We're trying to get as many on-campus and off-campus organizations involved with this and making sure that, you know, this doesn't go unseen. Maura McGovern is among many who have signed an online petition to have Sigma Phi Epsilon removed from campus. Rape is such a forceful and violent term that it's really just um, completely inappropriate and unacceptable. University officials agree, but say they've got more digging to do before more action is taken. We're just trying to understand what happened. Um, if anything more serious comes to light based on the investigation, then we'll take quick action around that as well. In Burlington, Lauren Victory, News Channel 5.